This is Dan of Blue Dog Farms, head geologist. And I'm back out here at the barn. Going to uh, do my best to finish this feeder today. So since uh, the last video, I moved all the lumber in here. I went and got a trailer load of one inch oak for the, the bottom of the feeder. Most of it's upstairs, but there's a little bit down here. I started the frame for uh, the bottom of the feeder. Um, this gets bolted to the wall. And I built this gate. This is the uh, limit for the uh, cattle. You know, I really didn't want a rooster. Anyway, this is the, uh, the gate for the, uh, uh, the cattle limit. Uh, the feeder will stop here as well and I've kept these two stalls. The chickens are in one right now. They're gonna go away into a different place hopefully this summer and I've got a uh, calf that is under the weather. He's doing a lot better. He's uh, eating again and all of his bodily functions. I call him Ferdinand the third. But also Something that uh, has been is going to be missing in this video is my trusty sidekick, Heathcliff, who's in here as well. Now Heathcliff, a couple of days ago, followed me out, pushed his way out, really out the door to get get with me while I was feeding cattle. Oh hush! Pushed his way out the door while I was feeding cattle and got knocked down and stepped on by by cows. Not on purpose, they're just, you know, after the hay. And anyway, broke his leg. and um, Kind of a sad deal. Oh, Heathcliff. Let's figure out the zoom on this camera. Well, you can't really see it in the camera because the light's not good enough. But he's got a cast on his leg. And he's, um... He's still very goaty, but he's he's confined to the stall, so he's not going to be helping me today. He's going to take it easy and rest his leg in this uh, in the stall with Ferdinand the second or Ferdinand the third. I also made this ladder to the loft. It had a stairway, a circular metal stairway in here before, and I took it out because I couldn't get the skid steer by it, and uh, was always going to put in a. Was always going to put in a wooden staircase and uh, uh, just never did it and then I, I got thinking about it it's just you know I could probably get the skid steer by it but it's still a lot of unnecessary room so I built this ladder instead um, you know he's not even a real rooster he's a banty and uh, when I got him at the auction he was supposed to be a hen I'm going to bring the excavator in because I've got five treated four befores that are going to go from buried in the ground to lag bolted to the ceiling joists for the loft. So I'm going to dig those holes with the excavator while the, the uh, canopy is still off. I can get in here. I'm going to hopefully don't have to move any of this lumber because that would be a pain. But I, I may only use four. I'm going to go every three ceiling joists with a, a four before. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So um, I've got to move this table and this saw probably. And uh, some of this stuff so I can get in here with the excavator. Let's get going.
All right, so I'm ready to fasten the top of the 4x4s to the rafters. Up above, I'm going to be using mainly lag bolts. Over here, I've got some thicker joists that I'm going to use these four on, and then I've got the, the rest of them are shorter. And then to fasten the, uh, the two before to the concrete block wall, I've got these 5 16 lag bolts, and I've got these inserts. So you drill a hole into the block or the concrete and you uh, drive these in. In my experience, the size they have you do it, you don't really drive them in, you just kind of push them in with your finger. And then you screw the, uh, the lag bolt into it and it holds pretty well. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get started.
So I'm ready to put the floor in for the feeder before I put the last thick uh, board up. And I wanted to show you what I did here where uh, I've got a joint at the bottom. Not only did I bridge it with two before like this, this is the, the top one. This is the bottom one down here. But I ran two befores over to the block wall so that if I push on it a little bit with the skid steer cleaning this out, it pushes uh, it, the, the, the wall, bears load to the wood. So hopefully it'll make it last a little bit longer. I did that down here too. So I'm gonna go get my oak boards and we're gonna put uh, put the floor on here and hopefully we'll be feeding in here tonight.
All right, we're ready for the uh, big reveal to the cows. See how they like their new new setup, and especially being able to get in and out of the wind is important. So uh, I'm gonna let them in and see how they like their new feeder. And I think they're ready. So there you have it. I don't think they're really sure what to think of it yet. Uh, <laughs> but uh, they'll waste a whole lot less food this way. They can get in here out of the wind. Happy my cows are doing well. This is the head geologist at Blue Dog Farms, Dan. You have a blessed day.